So today I am going to show you how to take the readings in PLL. Uh, this is the most requested video. So within uh, 5 minutes I will show you how to take the readings. Uh, circuit diagram is already connected. Just go through the circuit. This is the 565 IC I have used for PLL experiment. The circuit is made as per the circuit diagram. Here I am showing you the circuit. So this is plus 5 volts plus 6 volts I have taken from 1 power supply and minus 6 1 power supply you know that for positive voltage you need to connect to the positive terminal of the power supply negative should be grounded for negative you should connect negative to the actual pin and positive should be grounded you remember this point very well so coming to this experiment so keep this your function generator in switch off condition initially so what is the main thing you have to do in the experiment is the main core formula involved in this is f0 is equal to 1.2 divided by 4 rt into ct so what is this f0 is this ic565 is producing one free running oscillation that is called voltage control oscillator within that it within this ic this, that is producing a square wave the square wave oscillation f0 is depends on this formula 1.2 divided by 4 into rt into ct so here what we have taken is C we have taken 103 that is 0 0.01 microfarad R value you have to find out and keep it in DRB. So this is actually first thing you have to do F0 you can take as a design in our case we have taken as a 5 kilohertz 5 kilohertz F0 if F0 is 5 kilohertz so what is what is the frequency F0 1.2 divided by 4 into F0 have taken as 5k and CT 0 0.01 microfarad. So, what is the value of R? You are getting here 6 kilo ohms. That is what I have said adjusted here 6 kilo ohms. F0 have taken 5 kilohertz and R value you, you need to find out and keep it in DRB. Your CT is 0 0.01 microfarad, that is 103 capacitor. Now it has become a theoretical value of F0, 5k is the F0 R value you will get around 6k, 6 kilo ohms, CT is 0 0.0 microfarad. So theoretical value you have adjusted F0 is equal to 5k. So practically you know that you should check that whether it is coming 5k actually it is not. The first step is you have to verify the theoretically VCO frequency and practical VCO frequency. The VCO output you have to check it at pin number 4. See here, you are getting one square wave there. So I need to measure the frequency of this square wave whether you are really getting it that night. Getting it or not. So it is T on period, T on and T off total T have to take. This has covered two divisions. It multiply with this value 0 0.1 millisecond. So 2 into 0 0.1 milli, 1 divided by T that will give 5k. So what is the design you have made for VCO? F not 5 kilohertz theoretically. Practically it is also coming. 5 kilohertz frequency. So this is the first step we have to do. So verify the practical VCO with the theoretically VCO. This is the first step you have to do. The formula involved is F0 is 1.2 divided by 4 RTCT. F0 it is a given 5k. I have I have you need to calculate RT and I have kept it around 6k and 0 0.01 microfarad. This is the value you have to find out and keep it in DRB. This is the first step. So don't switch on the FG up to this. So FG should be in the off condition. Now you have to give the input to do the PL experiment to track the signal. So input I have taken one more probe. This is my ground and where I should apply the input is at pin number 2. What is the value is square wave frequency very start from 100 Hz voltage 1 volts peak to peak you have to keep. Remember this point, frequency starts varying from 100 Hz and voltage is 1 volts peak to peak, square wave you have to apply at pin number 2 as an input signal. So initial condition should be keep in off position, up to you, you have to check it out the VCO. After that you have to apply this, now I am switching on the FG. So now take the another probe, one probe connected to the VCO output, pin number 4, one probe I have taken from the FG. I have connected to the pin number 2 of the IC to apply the input signal. So another probe 
just observe it carefully so i am giving at this point pin number 2 because i have to compare input to the vc output to make a comparison on dual channel oscilloscope i am giving another probe connecting this is ground and this is vc see here frequency i am very Starting from 100 hertz, you can vary. See that. So, dual channel are taken. So, this one is VC output, and this one is the signal uh, what you applied from the function channel. It is VC output, it is the input signal. Now, the steps are very simple. You have to need, you need to note down only the four frequencies. Lower capture, upper lock, upper capture, lower lock. Four frequencies. So, how to measure those frequencies? I will show you. So, frequency you start varying from, I am varying the frequency. Input as I told, one volt peak to peak. This is the VC output and it is the input signal. I am varying the input frequency. So, at one moment, both the frequencies and phase will be matched. See here. One more time I will show you. I will increase the frequency. Now I am increasing the frequency from the FG. See here. Now at one point your input and output becomes equal. That means in phase Tn and Tf it is equal. Now note down this respective frequency as lower capture. When the input and output are same you note down that frequency as lower capture you can note down from here display itself or else you can note down measure it and note down here so this becomes a practical and it is display it is having some tolerance no problem so i am writing directly this 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 frequency only so this is 4.55 kilohertz now vary the frequency see here so until the lock is released Ah, now it is released. Now the frequency what you are getting, you note down as upper lock 5.15 kilohertz. Now after getting lower capture and upper lock, you have to decrease the frequency. First initially you have to increase the frequency to get these two points. Next you have to come reverse. Again you will get the same point here. Four point six two. You are getting. This is called upper capture. Next, when the these two are same, the next frequency, third frequency, is upper capture. Next, you decrease that. Again, it will be released. So this is called lower lock. Four point one nine kilohertz. So you. You substitute all these four frequencies in this axis, you can get the lower difference between this low capture, upper capture will give capture range, difference between upper lock and lower lock will give lock range. Capture range and lock range you can cal easily calculate with the help of this graph. So I have written low capture, upper lock, upper capture, lower lock. First time you will go on increasing the frequency, next time you, you go on decrease the frequency. To guess, only you need to find out four frequencies. How to find out? I have shown you. When lower capture you will get, when input and output become same. Phase, if it is matching, it is a lower capture. Next, releasing upper lock. Next, again come back. If it is the same, again matching upper capture, releasing lower lock. So, this is what you have to remember. You can take the difference between.